Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own corner billboard. If you'd like to use this image by photographer Rob DiCaterino, I provided its link in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, I want to point out that the Vanishing Point feature, which we'll be using in this tutorial, is available in versions CS2 and later. Open a photo that you'd like to place into the billboard. I downloaded this one from dreamstime.com. If you want to add text to your photo, open your type tool and pick a font. I'm using Biro. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'll make its size approximately 50 points. However, feel free to use whatever size you'd like. I'll make its aliasing sharp and flush left alignment. Click the color box to open the color picker. Pick a color you'd like for your text. If you want to copy a color from your photo, just click on that area of the photo to copy its color. Then click OK. Click on your photo and type out your text. If you want to adjust the space between all your characters, highlight your text and press and hold Alt or Option plus the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. To adjust the space between just two characters, click between those characters and repeat the step. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. Make a composite snapshot of your visible image by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Alt, E on Windows or Command, Shift, Option, E on a Mac. Press Ctrl or Command, A to select your composite snapshot and press Ctrl or Command, C to copy it to your clipboard. We'll paste it into the billboard a little later. Open your billboard photo and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to Filter and Vanishing Point. I did an in-depth tutorial on Vanishing Point, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link in my video's description. Zoom into the billboard by clicking the Zoom tool and dragging it over the billboard. Click the Create Plane tool. Click the top left corner of the left side of the billboard and click the top point between the left and right sides. Click the bottom point between the left and right sides and click the bottom left corner of the left side. The bounding box and grid of a perspective plane is normally blue. If there's a problem with the placement of the corner nodes, the bounding box and grid turn either yellow or red. If you see either of these colors, move the corner nodes until the bounding box and grid are blue. We can create an additional grid that shares the same perspective of the first grid by going to the middle edge node and control dragging or command dragging it to the edge of the other side. If the newly created plane doesn't properly line up with the image, Drag the corner nodes until they do. You'll notice that the only visible grid is the last grid you created. However, the first plane is actually there, it's just hidden. Now that we have the perspective grid on both sides of the billboard, we can paste our photo into it. Press Ctrl or Command V and drag it inside the grid. Immediately, our photo retains the same perspective as our vanishing point grids. To reduce or enlarge our photo inside the grid, drag the inside image over until you see a corner. Click the Transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Shift as you drag it in or out. Pressing Shift kept your photo's aspect ratio as you resized it. To reposition it, just drag it. When you're happy with its size and position, Click OK. Notice your new billboard image is on its own layer. Control click or command click its thumbnail to make a selection of its overall shape. 
go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it one pixel and click OK or press Enter or Return. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Click the Chain Link icon to unlink the layer and the layer mask. This allows us to resize and or reposition either of them independently of the other. Click the thumbnail of the cutout billboard to make it active and open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. At the top, click the chain link icon to link the width and the height. Now, whatever we type into one of them will be repeated in the other. Type in 101%, then press Enter or Return. This enlarged our billboard image just a bit to ensure that it covers the original billboard under it. To make the billboard blend in more with the background, we'll add a little grain to it. Go to Filter, Noise, and add Noise. I'll make it 3%, but you can adjust the amount to what looks good to you. Make it Gaussian and monochromatic. Because the billboard image is most likely sharper than our background, we'll slightly blur the billboard. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 0.3 pixels and click OK or press Enter or Return. The source of sunlight in this particular background is originating from the left, so the shadows are being cast to the right. Therefore, I'll make the billboard's right side a bit darker than its left. First, make a copy of the top layer and its layer mask. Control click or command click the layer mask to make a selection of its shape. Press Q to make the selection into a quick mask. Open your pen tool and click directly above the top middle corner to place an anchor point. Release your mouse or pen and click below the bottom middle corner. If you need to reposition the path, press and hold Ctrl or Command as you drag the anchor point to relocate it. Release your mouse or pen and click below the right corner if your shadow is on the right. Continue until you click back on the original top anchor point to close the path. Right click directly on the path to open the flyout list and click Make Selection. Feather it one pixel and click OK. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the outside of the selection with the quick mask. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Press Q to convert the quick mask into a selection and invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Make sure your layer mask is active and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with black. Now, only the right side of your billboard will be visible through the layer mask. Then, deselect it. Click the top layer thumbnail to make it active, and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Levels to restrict the adjustment layer to affect just the one layer below it, we need to clip it to that layer. To do this, either click the Clipping Mask icon or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Drag the output highlight level to the left approximately this much to darken it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.